Hello guys, good evening. Hello Evelyn, hello Jeffrey, how are you doing? Can you listen to me? Yes, teacher, good evening. Great, good, hey, good evening. Nice to see you, it's Friday. So welcome to our session. This is our, I, I thought it was session number six, but it's actually session number five, right? Because we didn't have one last Friday. So welcome, Melissa. Welcome, Evelyn. We are going to start with our class today. I really hope you had a great day. Tomorrow is weekend. Uh, sometimes our routine changes a little bit on weekends. And I hope it changes yours, too. So um, let's recall about yesterday's class. What did we do yesterday? Who can refresh what we did yesterday? Who remembers? Well, yesterday we talked, we started talking about a new topic, right? And I assigned a homework for you to complete it. Did you have time to do it? And I'm gonna start with this activity because that's the one we left pending. Oh, something else. We're going to uh, start a new topic. Maybe you have seen it already on the platform and we're going to make comparisons today, okay? There are uh, some ways how to make comparisons. We're gonna study some of them today. That's gonna to be after uh, the topic we started yesterday, okay? All right, so did you complete the chart or the structures that I assigned yesterday? Did you have time to do it? Let me share, let me clear this out. Okay, now here we go. Boom. We did it yesterday and we did this one and we had this activity pending right here. And I ask you to think about uh, six possible statements that will complete this exercise about you. And of course we were gonna do this using germs, right? So um, who wants to start uh, sharing the first? First one, we did this like um, yesterday. The first one example was done, right? And that's uh, windsurfing is very exciting. How about uh, the next ones? Uh, what makes you laugh, uh, Evelyn? I don't know how to say Contar chistes, telling jokes. I don't know. Telling tell, jokes make me laugh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you telling or somebody else telling? Maybe somebody else selling jokes, right? Okay, great. Um, what about you, Melissa? What makes you laugh? Um, watching videos. Be watching videos, videos makes uh -huh. me laugh. Okay, so watching video, 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 like any, any videos, right? On YouTube or any other uh, channel makes you laugh. Okay, how about you, Jeffer? What makes you laugh? Uh, watching comedy movie makes me laugh. Yeah, that's a really good one. Watching comedy movies, yeah, that's very popular, right? And I think watching a comedy, it's, it's just great when this is really good. Okay, and what about the opposite? What, what, what gives you a headache? What, what gives you a headache? What did you write on your notes? Listening reggaeton music gives me a headache. <laughs> yeah, I second that. Okay, um, anybody else? What gives you a headache? Teacher, how do you say materia? For example, the university. Subject? Uh, sub uh, making homework of a subject when I don't understand it uh, gives me a headache. Uh -huh. Okay, so basically doing homework, uh, doing homework on a subject you don't understand gives you headache, okay? 
Nice. And let's see. Evelyn, how about you? What gives you a headache? Watching someone's fight, fight, it's me up. Okay. All right, I see, especially if someone you know, I think, right? Okay, and um, let's move on. And because we have some other topics for today. And what isn't polite? Uh, I think that smoking in public place is, isn't polite. Mm -hmm. Even kissing in public, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. So smoking in public places yeah, is impolite. Yeah, I agree with that. Any other that you want to share with me? Chatting mm -hmm. is impolite. Chatting. Is it chatting? Mm -hmm. mm, yes. Depends, right, on, on the context. Yeah. What else? Any other idea, guys? I see that are more people connected now. There are uh, six connectors. What is impolite? Uh -huh. In a classroom or in a group of people, what is impolite? I think about okay. uh -huh. using the cell phone in class is impolite. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Making too noise. Making to to making noise, right? I was uh thinking that maybe talking over someone or when somebody's speaking, talking over is is impolite, right? Okay. Any other idea that you want to uh share with me and with the class? Anybody who hasn't participated? We're now six people. Plus me is seven. Mm -hmm. Isn't polite. Those one who haven't participated, come on. Um, or let's move on to the next one. What about if we think about this one? It's popular in my country. So what is popular in El Salvador? What is popular? What can you think about? Any idea? It's popular in my country. What? Eating pupusas mm -hmm. is popular country. I like that one. Yeah, eating pupusas is popular in my country. Yeah. Okay, good. What else? Like another idea you can tell me? Fighting drivers are getting popular at this time. Right, due to the traffic, right? Uh, yeah. the rush tower yeah i know so what about number five which says destroys the environment so let's think about one action in general as well to to complete it what destroys the environment Cutting trees destroys the environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a really good one. Cutting trees destroys the environment. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. And any other idea you want to share with me? Uh, littering. Exactly, that's another one. Exactly, when you throw trash, right, a lover. All right, there might be others. And what about this one? The last one, I like it because it's in negative. So what can you tell me about it? What is something you can share? Not can be dangerous. Now that we are in pandemic, what can you tell me? Maybe not. Sanitizing ourselves, 
washing our hands and using not using face, mask facing exactly face masks not using face masks can be dangerous you can get the virus what else can you think about and maybe at work maybe at school at home what are some things that can be dangerous you can think about Yeah, not using seat belt. All right, that's a really good one, Jeffer. Yeah, when you drive in right and not using seat belts can be dangerous. Okay, any other that you want to share? Any idea, Melissa, Evelyn, Gustavo, Jose, Reina, what else comes to your mind? Not exercising. I like that one, yeah. Especially uh, like yeah, if you eat control. diabetes and all these, uh, you know, heart disease problems. And, uh, and uh, when you say not, not, not exercising, you can also say not eating healthy, right? Mm -hmm. Especially when we have this, uh, I don't know, kind of like routine of working and not having much time to to do our, you know, daily exercise, that can be dangerous. Especially if we eat a lot of fast food, and that's what we usually do. Because we don't want to get home and cook, just go by and get some, grab some food, and and we're ready to, you know, and we love it. I think <laughs> eating fast you food. Think go to any place, you know, restaurants, and then you, you feel like, wow, delicious. But the consequences, right? Well, thank you so much, guys, for sharing. We are going to move on. This was uh, since yesterday. And we have a very similar activity on the next page. But this time, we have germs as object. I think you guys uh, kind of like provided some examples yesterday. But I still want to hear some others, maybe about you. What can you tell me about you think about your life or any um, sentence you can share with me using maybe suggest or enjoy and then add another um, ing form of the verb as an object. Let's think about one idea. Do you have, Jeffer? I suggest yeah, teacher, uh, you have a, a grammar question about the germ as subject. Uh, do, you, do you know that a germ is an object when is uh, after um, uh, another verb? Uh -huh. Only in this case. Yeah, well, uh, a germ as an object, it can be after a verb. This is the one we have studied. And then as of now, I can think about any other structure, but this is the, the most common one. And what I can also add to this is that we have a list of verbs which accept the germ form after each, because you cannot use a germ after some specific verse. That's something that we need to be aware of. For example, you cannot use a germ after the verb want of the very uh, need, for example, you can use a gerund. So I think this is very important. And how do you know this? Well, based on my experience, I, there's a list of verb which accept um, gerunds and which accept infinitives. So this is something that we might want to be interested in, maybe uh, getting familiar with, you know, the list of these verbs. But this is the one, uh, Jeffrey, after, one verb, we have one uh, gerund form, and the second verb, which is uh, gerund, is working as the object of the sending. So that's the point. And then how do we know uh, when do we use a gerund and when not to use a gerund? Well, I would say um, I can share the list of verbs. I think I have it, you know, with the, with the most common ones. That's what I can tell. Have you seen any other structure that you want to bring to, to, to the class so we can, um, Analyze it. Uh, no, teacher, the problem in my case is that I was studying in the platform and my problem was uh, see the difference between a general subject and a 
an object and a subject. Uh, that was my problem, but I was thinking that the difference be is that a uh, as an object is after a verb and a subject is when you use like, like a subject. At the beginning. And do you have any specific uh, one that you want to maybe double check? Uh, no, platform? no, this moment. Because uh -huh. uh, let's do this, just go ahead and, and get the example you had problem with, and then we can analyze it here as a whole class. That can be something really useful. Okay, and um, something might have, might have been wrong there, or I don't know, something might be not in affirmative, might be negative, it, it depends. So that will, I don't know, maybe uh, change the structure. So we will need to see it. And uh, so if you can go ahead and have it ready for next class, or you can send us any message on the group and then, uh, then we, we can see it, okay, for next class. Um, any other comment, any other idea that you want to uh, ask or say guy, about this before we move on? That was on this, the first right section, section two, right? I will double check. Maybe if you can if you can share with me the examples or the specific maybe sentences, I will appreciate that. Okay. Or have it ready for next class. Let's see. There we go. All right. Um, is there any other that you want to ask or you want to add? And any other example that you want to share with me? Okay, um, let's move on. And we have these ones, and um, I don't know if you have, if you completed already on the platform, and we have these other, you know, use of gerunds. And this one's on the video, it plays an audio for you to complete it, right? But then what about if you uh, add your own ideas? Why do Christopher uh, and and Hero go hiking so often, they both enjoy watching birds, okay? And then we have uh, don't mind, finished, and misses. So um, what, how can you add this idea? How can you complete this idea? That's the one. What comes to your mind? Let's uh, start thinking about number one. Um, let's make it up. I need a ride to the airport. I don't mind what comes to your mind. I don't mind what? Living you. I don't mind living you. Living you. Mm -hmm. I don't mind. Mm -hmm. I need a ride to the airport. I don't mind what? There are many things you can say. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> Okay, what else? I don't mind. Imagine you're asking for a ride uh, at the airport and then you say, I don't mind maybe waiting here for an hour. I don't mind. Um, maybe uh, pain, some extra, whatever thing you want to say. So, but I need a ride to the airport. So what else comes to your mind? What about number two, dad? Can I go outside and play? And then the dad ask, have you finished? This is, I don't know, what comes to your mind? Have you finished? How, what do you think an answer can be that a dad can give to, the, to their kids? Hours. How you finish working? Mm -hmm. That's 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 one. What about uh, if the kid has a lot of homework to do? Have you finished? Have you finished? And then doing your homework. Mm -hmm. I like that one. Have you finished doing your homework? Good. Okay. And why did Javier look so? sad today. I don't think he really misses what? 
I don't think it really misses and then we need an action. And uh, in general, working as an object of the sentence because the main verb is misses. What, I, what, I, what comes to your mind? Yeah, teacher, seeing his parents. Uh, I like that one. Yeah, I don't mind. I mean, I don't think, or I think he really misses seeing his parents. Yes. Okay, that's what he looks at. All right. And there might be other ideas you can also think about, right? Well, let's do this. Uh, we're going to move on to our, our topic for today. As you remember, today's objective was to um, make comparisons. So I would like to ask you, how do you make comparisons? Can you give me some examples before I share uh, the next structures that we are about to study? How do you make comparisons? What things do you use to make comparisons? Any idea? I guess that is when we use, for example, is better than, and then you say something. Hey, that is a, that is a good one. Uh, better than, that's one. And then what else? Um, what other things do we need when we want to make comparisons? Have you guys seen the video on the platform about this or not yet? If you have seen it, you know, uh, you kind of know what I'm talking about. We have, we have some words that we want to consider and this is the one we're gonna be using. Well, uh, on this topic, it focuses on occupations because the point here is to make comparisons uh, with occupations, right? And then it, it doesn't mean we are going to be using occupation in a real life or in our daily basic, because we have other things that we can compare. We just need to have two things we want to make comparisons about, right? But then um, we're gonna be using these images later on to make comparisons. But before I want to go over some words that were explained on the video, which uh, we might double check, or we might, we might um, provide some examples. And these are the ones. So let's take a look at this one. Let's see, um, le let me ask Jessica. Jessica, can you read the, the first uh, pair of words here? This is the most common one. This one? More than. More than, very good. This is the one we are, I, I think, more familiar with, or maybe you are familiar with all of them, but this is the most common one because we studied this since basic levels, more and then then. And when do we use more, guys? More is used with what type of adjectives? Uh, superlative. Mm, superlatives. Hmm. Do we use more with superlatives? Uh, short adjectives. Is it short adjectives or the opposite or long? Ah, yeah, and long adjectives. Long adjectives, very good. And then we have the opposite, which is uh, less. And then we have uh, this one, which is irregular, better, and worst. And when we want to make a comparison, which is, which expresses similarities, we use this structure, as and as. And then when we want to use uh, not as, not as us, and then that will be uh, when we want to say how different something is from the other one. So no, not equal, no similarities. In this case, we are gonna be using this one to create like our own comparisons. I'm not gonna provide you any example yet because I want you to think about your own examples. So um, let's just open your mic and uh, give me one um, sentence with this one, with the first structure. And remember that for, uh, for these adjectives, we need to uh, consider the spelling, okay? And also how long they are, short or, or long, one or two or three syllables, this, this effect. So I want to hear you. What about first one? Uh, anybody who wants to th think about one example that you can share? This Kids are happier than adults. I agree with that. <laughs> like, yeah, I totally agree. And why do you think is that? They don't have responsibilities, right? <laughs> why, why is it? Yeah. 
It's just chill. They want to eat. They ask for food and that little bit, right? And then you're saying happier. You're not using. You're not using more because you you know that more is not used with happy because happy is short spelling, right? Okay. And what about with more? Uh, Evelyn, what comes to your mind with more? More. Think about a long spelling adjectives. My brother is more intelligent than me. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to say it. Right? <laughs> yes. Okay, I see. But don't ever say that. <laughs> Okay, what about the next one? When we use less, it's the opposite, right? Now you can say this, you know, she's less intelligent than, than me. Now that makes, a, that makes a lot more sense. So more and less, they just make uh, things, you know, one is the opposite than the other. And can you please use better and worse, guys? Maybe I'm gonna give you one or two minutes for you to type one example of each. One example of each, better and worst in general things. Would you have your example? Just go ahead and send it on the chat. Better, what is it better than and what is worse? A car is better than a, than a ride, than a bike. Mm -hmm. uh, the car, right? The car yeah. is better than a bike. A car is better than a bike. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, we can say that. And what about um, worst? What comes to your mind with worst? Worse, this is a irregular adjective, right? So what comes to your mind? Worse, something that is worse than some other things? Teacher, I think that warm is worse than cold. Okay, did you say warm? Um, you're talking about weather conditions, right? Weather, the, the, the temperature. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think hot is worse than um, cold. I don't know where you guys live, but here in my town, as of now, it's really hot. Because I live, I live near the, the, the beach. Okay. Let's see, what about this other structure? This is a very common one. And to express similarities, we can use as and as. So what can you tell me? Just make sure you leave one adjective in the middle, right? If I say uh, that Melissa is, in, is as intelligent as uh, Jessica, I'm saying they're equal. That's very similar level, similar things. So similarities. So give me one example with this one. What comes to your mind? Uh, me teacher. Uh -huh. Please go ahead. Um, the movie as good as serious. The movie. Okay, what is missing there, Melissa? Da. Can you say it again, please? Can can you uh, the can, movie uh -huh. Uh -huh. as good as serious? Uh -huh. Something is missing. If can you say it again and then try to try to understand, try to listen to you to yourself, and then you I know you will identify the mistake you're saying. It's very little. What is it? Okay. Uh huh. Yes. Exactly. That's the one is missing. Can you try with is now, Melissa? The movie as good as serious. Mm -hmm. The movie or the movie, and then if it is one, is just right there, the movie 
is, and then you say as blah, 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 as series. So basically, as uh, something that I need to highlight here is that we are going to be using the adjective here and its base form. We don't change it, okay? We say the adjective in its base form and we are going to use the verb to be before, before this structure as. For example, um, maybe we can think about uh, the germs. Watching movies is as interesting as watching series. So that's another structure. And then we can also put into practice what we have studied with the use of germs, okay? So uh, what about if you give me some example with germs now? Uh, using the gerunds as the adjective of a sentence, okay, or or maybe as a noun, which is also co also um, correct. So give me one example, and then I want you to read it for the whole class. We're gonna take some time on these uh, last two structures. In general, what comes to your mind? Whenever you have your example, just go ahead and let me know, please. Use any um, any germ. Teacher, I have a question. Can we use mm -hmm. uh, the to be verb uh, after as, for example, I think uh, basketball is as interesting as football? It's a really good one. Of course. And you're using it like. Basketball is as um, whatever you want to say as football. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are some words that are, are on the on the video that, that you can also use. We have some adjectives, for example, stressful, fantastic, fascinating, easy, uh, difficult, interesting, dangerous. And uh, the video also explains we can use some uh, related nouns, work related nouns to make some comparisons. And take a look at these examples. Um, they're comparing two um, occupations here. And then uh, working as a lodger using gerund. Um, 
is more stressful than working as a mechanic. In this case, uh, it's using more stressful than the first, uh, the first structure. And then um, let's take a look at one with uh, this one. Look at this one. Working as a lawyer is as interesting as working as a mechanic. So you have the um, adjective just in the middle here in its base form. And uh, we have right here the verb to be because it's describing a noun, right? So the one you said is also okay. What comes to your mind? What examples do you have, Kai, that you want to share with the whole class? Anybody? What have you written down? And then let me go back a little bit because I, I still want to go over some. Okay, and here. And let's also think about the negative form. You can uh, send your example on the chat because I would love to read it. You can say it. Okay, I think I have the first example here. <laughs> oh, it's not a, and I agree with that. I don't know. Yeah, if you if you um if you drink um Pepsi, nothing to do with Coca Cola, right? And actually, it's more expensive too, right? I think I agree. It can be cold, right? But it's not the same. Okay. Um, Studying physics is, is not as difficult as studying mathematics. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know much about that, but yeah, you imagine. Okay. I don't, I don't think I'm good at numbers. That's why I changed. I decided to study languages. <laughs> okay. But then Jessica, you have your, you might have your own reasons. Okay. What else? And the other ones? Any idea that comes to your mind? Mm -hmm. I think I have another example right here. Let me read it. And it says, I think it was sent by Jose, making TikTok videos are more profitable. <laughs> hey, I don't know why, but I think you're right. Uh, this crazy, as you can see, it's really crazy. But then you wanna say making, uh, making, I wanna talk about this, making uh, TikTok videos is because Actually, we're not describing um, 
the videos, we're talking about the action itself. So we say, Jose, making the talk, TikTok, TikTok, I think, uh, TikTok videos or TikTok um, is because it's the action of making profitable. Okay. Okay. And yeah, you see many professional people without, without a job and you see like the meme says, well, you see, this is the, the, the TikToker and with a nice car and a lot of money. And this is the lawyer, <laughs> you know, graduated after a lot of studying and at the end, no chances to work. Okay, this is El Salvador. <laughs> what about next one? Let me see. We have Chinese food is as good as Italian food. Okay, you're comparing nouns. Okay, Chinese food. And Melissa playing soccer is not as is not as amazing as playing basketball. Okay, I never learned how to play basketball. I always try. Using a car is more comfortable uh, than using public transportation. Yeah, and it's, it's that's that's correct, right? It's more secure as well. Okay, and it's safer. Working as a pilot is not as difficult as working in the control tower, but both have the same responsibilities. Okay, I see then you are in that area. You see, that's really good you're bringing those examples. Boots are more expensive than sneakers. Yeah, that's, that's another one. This is the, yeah. And which one do you like? Uh, more Jessica boots or sneakers? I like more that both. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it depends on the on the situation, right? Depends. Yes, for the general, the woman use a lot of shoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, when uh, ladies wear a uh, kneel, I mean high heels, and this, I don't think they're comfortable, but you know style you know okay uh let's work guys because this is something i want to do uh let's take a look at these adjectives okay and i want you to write them down because i'm going to show you the first image i i showed where where we have the images above uh this um i mean occupations and professions and we're going to use these adjectives okay so number one is stressful maybe you want to write it down on your note Number two, fantastic. Three, fascinating. Uh, four, difficult. Five, easy, interesting. And we also have dangerous. We're gonna use all of, only these ones, okay? We're not gonna uh, work on the nouns. It's the same thing, actually same uh, structure, just that this, it is a noun uh, to make comparisons. Now, so once again, stressful, uh, fantastic, fascinating, difficult, number four, and then easy, interesting, and dangerous. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now, uh, maybe you want to write them down. I'm going to give you uh, some seconds for you to write them down. Okay. Okay, now that you have them, I'm going to go uh, back a little bit and let's use this adjective we just, uh, I just went over and let's create, let's, choose, let's use this image, okay? Let's work on these, uh, let's first uh, try to list these occupations. The first one is what? How does this picture look like? Is it a judge? A lawyer, a lawyer okay. A lawyer. A lawyer, we have more in this one. And what about the second one? What is it? Have you ever seen a, a girl on this occupation, guys? Is it a mechanic? 
yeah, it's a mechanic, right? And I think you see a girl or a boy. It looks like a girl due to this hairstyle. I've never seen at my 32 age <laughs> years. I haven't seen a lady on this occupation. Never. But, but maybe you have. Okay, and then we have, what about number three? What is it that we have? Like, I'm hybrid. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else can you say? We can we can have two two occupations here, right? I'm sorry. It's a model. Okay. Mm -hmm. A model. We have a photographer. Uh, is that um right? I think it's just a photographer. All right. What about the next one, number four? What do we have there? Who is it? What does he do? He's a what? He's a. Uh -huh. Is he a um, what? How can you name? Okay. Is it a is he a teacher? Uh, isn't reporter. he? Reporter. Yes, I think he's a he's a reporter, right? A news reporter or any or look any presenter of any program, but it can be a teacher too. Yeah. And what about uh next one number five? How do you call this one? Mm -hmm. Is it too easy? And number six, easy too? Hmm. Painter? Painter, very good. And then six, what is it? Scientist. Scientist, okay, scientist, very good. Just mixing, you know. Uh, substances you know and making like uh, experiments and what about number seven um she's what she's uh what do you call this person that that report news on tv and they go to these scenes and capture everything is around and they report it what is it she's uh, uh i think he, he is a photographer and what about what about her? In seven peak. Right, in seven peak, that would that would be the photographer. But then what about the, the girl? It's like a journalist, not right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have the had that impression too. And I think I like it. It's for me, it's a journalist. Yeah, it's like they're reporting journalists. It can be. And the last one, I think is the very obvious, right, that this is a pilot. Now, um, let's do the following. We don't have like only 10 minutes or, 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 or approximately. So let's choose one, um, one pair of occupations and let's try to use the um, adjective we just went over and the structures, okay? Maybe uh, more than, uh, as, as, not as, uh, not as, as, and then, uh, the other one's worst, um, and, and so on. So choose one pair of occupations or professions, and then let's make, or let's write at least maybe two or three occupations, or, I'm sorry, two or three comparisons per each one. I'm gonna give you maybe two minutes or, or three minutes for you to write them, these ideas. Choose only one pair, please. If you can use gerunds, that'll be great as a, as a subject.
I think I have some examples in here. And all right, I want to read them. Let's see, being a pilot is more stressful than being a painter, I think. Like sometimes painting is a um, technique for uh, relaxing, right? When you start painting, you feel stressed out. Um, it's a good one. And then let's see, a uh, pilot is more fascinated than a painter. Pilot is more fascinated than a painter. Working as a pilot is more dangerous than working as a reporter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Painter job, or you can say painting job. Painting job is easier than pilot job. Painter, you can say painter's job is easier than pilot's job mm -hmm. with that with the position that'll be good as well. And then we have working as a pilot is more interesting than working. Oops, let's see. I think it's got more ideas. Working as a pilot is more is more um, fascinating than working as a lawyer. Maybe, right? Working as a pilot is more interesting than working as a photographer. Yes, working as a scientist is more interesting than working as a painter. Okay, I have many. What about uh, using better and using words and um, maybe some nouns? We, we can use some nouns. Being a lawyer is more stress than being a model. Maybe, right? I'm not quite sure about this because it, it looks maybe easy to be a model, but then what about uh, if to be a model, you have to, I don't know, keep in shape, fit, you have to do a lot of working out, exercise, and you have to maintain any specific, I don't know, maybe um, your weight must be this. I don't know if that might be very stressing, but then it depends, right? How we say it. And working as a pilot has a lot of responsibility as working. I like this one. Has a lot of responsibility as working as a mechanic. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have this other structure. What about um, a negative? As if not us, and then us. Any anybody, if you haven't participated with this example, and then try to use the um the words that I provided you with, right? Some of you have already used them, but then there are a couple of them which we haven't used yet. So let's think about one more example of them, and let's see. Let me share the words. These are the ones. What about easy, um, fantastic? Mm -hmm. Yeah, which ones can you use? One more. And I want you to open your mic and read it, please. I want you to read it because I, I want to hear you. Mm -hmm. Anybody? Open your mic and just go ahead and share it. One more example with this, uh, with this. Let's, um, while you are thinking about it, let's just go over the ones we have on the video. Let me see, these are the ones that we have. If you have seen it, uh, let's take a look at them. Let me see. This is um, this one. They're comparing lawyer and mechanic, more stressful, less stressful. So it's basically the opposite. More and then less. And then as interesting as. And then we have one more example right here. 
um, a lawyer has more education than a mechanic. So has, this is very similar to, to the one I saw. A mechanic has better hours than a lawyer, okay? And we have this one, which negative. Working as a mechanic isn't as much work as working as a lawyer. So this is a noun, they use a noun. Okay, and we have one more here on chat from Jessica. And uh, this one says, let's see, working as a model is uh, easier than working as a photographer, maybe, right? That's another good one, okay? I would like to hear, I would like to hear or, or read one like this, this um, structure. Maybe we want to think about one now uh, that describes any, um, any like this, let me share it. Any word like this, let me erase it. We have, one second. These are the words given, um, like uh, hours or education, work. Maybe we can include that in, in your comparisons. And we have only like one or two minutes to think about one example. And you can keep like talking about occupations and hours or education or work. So uh, you can say, uh... Working as mechanic uh, is not uh, as profitable as work as doctor. Mm -hmm. Working as as a mechanic is mechanic. Uh -huh, is not as profitable as working as as a doctor. Yes, yes, as as of course. Uh, possible working as a mechanic is not as pro uh, is not as profitable as working as a doctor. That means that uh, working as a doctor makes more money. Mm -hmm. And let's see next one. Teachers work more hours than <laughs> maybe right. You see <laughs> at this time, maybe because of the planning, right? That something it requires this. Yes. Okay. Um. Well. This is kind of like the idea, if you find any example on the platform which represents any specific uh, doubt, I will appreciate if you have it ready on the next class and we talk about it you know, on Monday. Guys, um, it's like uh, two minutes, two to nine. Do you have any, any question or anything else that you want to uh, ask or add? Yeah, teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. When we use nouns, uh, we can make uh for example a complete sentence in in a non sentence for example uh, be being a pilot and sorry uh, studying or being pilot needs more uh, experience hour than a mechanical than a mechanic or then studying to be a mechanic. If you wanna, the, I suggest keeping the same structure. If you say um, studying uh, to be a pilot uh, requires more hours, then you say again, studying to be a pilot or a mechanic. So basically you want to keep the same uh, structure so it sounds, it, sounds, it sounds okay, because if you don't keep the same, like working or studying, and then you say study in the next, in the next uh, sentence to, to make the comparison, it will sound, you know, maybe something that doesn't make sense or something is missing. So maybe that one you want to say um, uh, studying, and then you say studying again on the second. Uh, so it makes more sense. But yeah, you can say it, of course, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, let's think about some other examples, guys, and let, we can discuss this on, on the next class. And then if you have, if you find any maybe um, question within the platform, 
that has, like I said, any uh, maybe confusion, you can just bring it on the next class and we can talk about it. Well, as of now, it's Friday and the body knows it. And we have to just let the dose out. I don't know what you guys are gonna do, but then try to rest as much as possible. And I'll see you guys on Monday, okay? Try to rest and um, see you on Monday. Take care, bye-bye. See you, bye-bye. See you on Monday. Bye-bye, see ya, bye-bye.